So it's uh, 20 past 8 on Tuesday, the sorry, Thursday, the 11th of April 2018. And um, yeah, so we're here, back up at the plot. And uh, I don't know what's going on there. That's weird. Very weird. Alright. So there we go. And that's the shed framing completed. Now, I've reinforced the roof with cross beams. And to do that, what I did was I, I fitted these two by one battens to the undersides of the A-frames, as you can see. And then what I did was I stuck these in, which are um, 45 by 45. It's the same wood that I did the A-frame with, so what, what happens with that one then is it fits nice and snugly. And it doesn't stand proud at all. And um, when I put the sheeting on, the poly sheeting on, it'll give another extra uh, bit of timber to fix to with the staples. And the benches are in, all the benches are in. So that's just a bit of trellis in there. It, it, was, it was off a, um, a cot bed of our James's. Um, but yeah, the benches are in. It's a bit bigger on this side, or wider on this side, than it is on that side. Because that's like the potting area, that's going to be like the growing area on that side. And that's for the smaller plants on this side. So I'm thinking tomatoes, cucumbers and that kind of thing on this side. Other little starts and smaller bushy tomatoes, things like that. Pickles on that side. And then on the bottom side, a combo of the both. I think to go up the middle there. Well, that's where the vents go in, that little window. That's where the screen vent is going. And of course, like I said before, that's the door. And that door's going to be a double door where it's going to be poly on the outside and it's going to be the uh, venting, venting screen door on the inside and that's where we're at now I've put the bases in as well the um, sort of like raised beddy bases in at the bottom of it and that is being used as well because I've put the, the centre brace up there the upstand to support the centre of the benches on either side okay should be fairly level I think not going to be bang on 100% because it's just onto, onto soil in it, there's no real foundations to it but um, and I've knocked it up together myself uh, just out of my head and no plan involved in this just as it came, 8 by 6s see what you can do with them not even 8 by 6s it's 240 and 180 centimetres in the metadic. I wonder if when Brexit happens we'll be going back to the old Imperial. Probably not. <laughs> anyway, there we go. We never really gave up on the inches, did we? I suppose in this country. Um, we use both, don't we? We use metric and Imperial in this country. Apart from the pennies. So there you go. There's the doorway which we're going to go out of right now. And that's that. I'm debating with the idea of putting some more uprights in between those two sort of bays there, because there's like three uprights there. I'm thinking about putting a couple more in maybe for more fixing for the poly, but I don't know whether it'll need it. I don't think it probably will need it, to be honest. I might put a couple more at the back, um, sort of in the, in the middle here, going down, going down to the middle here, and the same here, just to support support these beams a little bit more, maybe. Although, again, I don't really think it'll need it. I think it'll be a freestanding, free supporting structure, this. It's pretty solid. It really is quite solid, this. I'm going to try and push it. I am pushing. I, I Trust me, I am pushing. And it's only moving very slightly as I'm doing it. Um, yeah, and so the roof's going to be pretty rock solid. If it does blow over in the wind, I would hate 
to experience that wind because if that if that ever does go if this ever does take off it's staked in the ground as well by the way and the weight of it and everything if this ever did take off i think that it would take out half the site because it's going to be a hell of a lot of weighted lump flying around um so i mean even with the sheeting on it's it, it's very stable it's not going anywhere that you take a hurricane a really bad hurricane to shift that thing and we don't tend to get that kind of weather over here in the uk so uh, yeah i'm thinking that's going to last quite a while i'm going to i'm going to stay in it up tomorrow with um that one coat fence live stuff from ron seal which is what i've sort of half done anyway on the framing it's got to all be done tomorrow and then that's in the morning and then hopefully if it's a nice sunny day like they say it could be tomorrow then we're going to sheet it off uh, and I'll put the door on itself uh, all the two double doors there put the vent in at the back all the rest of it hopefully if I'll be finished off that tomorrow or, or on Friday or actually it won't be finished off on Friday because we're going for a day out on Friday with the kids so on Saturday yeah that'll be finished not started the um, shed as yet because i've had to be in work this week i did two and a half days in work where i wasn't supposed to be i was supposed to be off but it's it's hectic i've, I've had a lot to do really at work um so i'm going to be a couple of days behind two and a half days behind on where i wanted to be um by the end of play by the 16th um but i'll see how we go i mean saturday and sunday i could get quite a bit done i could get the foundations hopefully done um for the shed and maybe get the wood if i can get that money together for um, the timber and everything that I'm going to need for the shed that could be okay but if not I'm going to finish off um, let me just get me trusty ginger ale and me drill um, I'm just going to finish off the uh, raised beds sorry it's dark it's very dark it's about half past eight now um, so yeah, I'm going to finish these off, same as I did over there with that netting, that screen netting. That's going to go on. Um, and maybe I'm going to do the um, chicken wire as well, that we spoke about a couple of episodes ago, the chicken wire on it. Uh, we'll see how it goes though. I mean, this screen netting's probably going to provide enough protection from the bugs. And Mr Fox hasn't been down since, um, so that's good. But we'll just see. We'll just see. I'll play it by ear. These have grown quite a bit. Look at these. Rhubarb. I'm going to shift this rubbish as well. I'm going to try and tidy up a little bit as well. But yeah, it's definitely coming along. Okay. So you probably can't see the shed now. It's up there. Um, and sorry, the shed. The greenhouse. Probably not. Can't see the greenhouse now. It's too dark. Um, but yeah that's where we're at and we've got the buds coming on our red currant bushes of which there are at least four one two three and four joe was saying the two um the two bushy you want to clip them back and get more growth so i don't know i'm gonna i maybe have to do that um, and there's another little one down here as well which i'm not sure whether it's one of the, it's the same sort as the red currant brush bushes but there's definitely another fruit bush there and there's the the little blueberry bush which might not produce anything this year and will need to be planted in its own planter with eritaceous soil i'm probably getting that wrong but it's it's a uh, acidic soil which has got to be a ph of around about five which is an acidic soil that's what that needs these raised beds these strawberry beds are coming out i'm going to take these out i'm going to save as many of these um um creeping strawberries that are just coming on down the as little plants but it's definitely coming out as is this one as is the big brick one and i'm going to use um quite a few of those bricks that i can salvage to use for the base of the shed so that's the that is the plan for these ones i'm going to shift them out and i'm going to put um probably five eight by two rows down here going horizontally down here rather than this one i know they're all going horizontally but you know what i mean going along the fence line if you, if you like going this way 
and there we go thanks very much for tuning in again and i'll catch you next time probably tomorrow and hopefully with the little one cheers now bye bye